daily we do so many types of works after getting from the bed our work starts like brushing bathing eating listening answering going to bus running once come to school listening to teacher writing in the on the notebook eating like it is so many activities activities in a day like some of examples i have drawn here walking jumping reading eating fighting watching a tv etc and we believe that all these are works exactly at this moment i am teaching you so i am doing work and you are watching me you are also doing work so all these are works but do you agree with it in physics not at all because physics says if you want to tell something in physics it should be measurable if it is not measurable that is not physics so work also be measurable now how it can be measurable and how can we say that this is work and this is not and what is the relationship between energy and power with work we are going to discuss in detail in this chapter called work energy power so what is work see the example here there is a body of mass m it is at point a it is in rest state now force f is applied on the body then the body started moving to point b and it has traveled a distance s then work is defined as it is the product of force and displacement in the same direction so work is defined as it is the product of force and displacement in the same direction this is the definition of work so the formula is w equals to force into displacement see force is a vector displacement is also a vector but work is not vector work is scalar it has only magnitude there is no direction so the formula is w equal to fs now if you see the, if you ask me the si unit of work is joules joules or you can write capital letter capital j but 1 joule equals to f into s so 1 newton into meter so work a unit can be joule or also you can say newton meter but if you ask me the si unit specifically it is joule now come into this example a body is falling to the ground falling to the ground to a, from a height h can then can you calculate work done on this body really is possible yes it is possible because here the force is there what force it is as falling freely the force is force of gravity or the gravitational force by the earth so the amount of work done by the gravitational force on the body m is w equal to fg into h is perfect is it possible to calculate work done here yes of course here the body is pushed up to a height h when you want to push up it doesn't go automatically you need to apply force so this force is opposite to the gravitational force so the amount of work done w equals to f into h so in all these cases you can find work done the only difference is here i use the symbol yes here i am using the symbol h but all are same but different situations now see we understand about uh, what is work now there are two types of works positive work negative work positive work so when we say it's a positive work 
when force and displacement both are in the same direction. Mathematically, we can say force is parallel to displacement. See this example here. A body of mass 2 kg at this point A. A force 6 Newton applied on it and the body moves in the same direction. So force direction, body direction are same. Then the work done W equals to F into S which is a 6 into 3. 18 joules is the positive work. It is positive work. Now coming to second one. Negative work. When force is one direction, displacement is in opposite direction. In mathematically, we can say force is anti parallel to S. See this example here. A car is moving towards the right side with its engine force of 80 newtons. But there is a frictional force acting on the body. Means where between the tides of the car and the road. And the, board, the car travelled a distance of 2 kilometers. If they ask the question, though, what is the work done? What is the work done by friction? If I ask you, friction is opposite to the motion of the car. So therefore, W equals to minus F into S. So minus, the friction value is 2 into displacement is 2 kilometers, you convert into meters, which is 2000, so minus 4000 Newton, sorry, minus 4000 joules is the amount of work done and this is negative work because friction is opposite the motion of the car, so negative work. So that's how we can differentiate positive work and negative work. To add more, if you ask what is the work done? by the engine force. What is the work of the engine force? So the engine force 80 Newton. So therefore, W equals to F into S, which is 80 into 2000 meters. So this is almost 16, four zeros, joules. It's a positive work because this arrow body is moving in the same direction. Now, if you ask a question that, see how the different questions can be asked. Work done by the net force. Net force, we discussed in the previous chapter, that net force is the resultant of the forces. So, one force is 80 Newton, other force is 2 Newton. The net force is 80 minus 2, 78 Newtons. So, so W equals to force net into displacement. Force net is F minus small f into S. So, 80 minus 2 into displacement is 2000 meters. So, how much it is? 78 into 2000 equals to 0, 0, 0, 6, 156,000, 156, joules. Is the net amount of uh, work done. See, this is the work done by the engine, this is the work done by the net force, and that is the work done by the frictional force. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.